In this video, I'm covering why I decided to go with a full body workout instead of other workout splits you can do from home. So let's jump right into the video. Now, the main reason I chose to do a full body workout, also known as a full body split, is because I can be the most consistent doing this workout versus other splits that are out there uh, currently. Now, you might have heard other splits you can do as well, such as the push-pull legs, which is very, very common in the bodybuilding community, as well as bro splits or body part splits where you hit one body part per day per workout, as well as the upper-lower splits. So those other three are very common alongside the full body split or full body workout. Now, for me, the full body workout provides the most consistency and adherence to completing my workouts each and every week. And this is the number one reason I've been able to consistently uh, keep building on muscle as well as staying relatively lean over the last almost 10 years of training. When I first started out, I was definitely doing those bro splits. Actually, it wasn't even really bro splits. It was like whatever I wanted to do at the gym, that's what I decided to go and do. Back then I was working, or working out in gyms. So for the first three-ish years, I did gym workouts then moved to home-based training where I was doing like P90X and just random stuff. Then I decided to kind of focus on doing good training plans and I actually became certified as a trainer, started building my own, doing a ton more research, and now I'm back on full body splits, mainly because I can become the most consistent and adhere to it the most, but don't get me wrong, the other splits will definitely work if you do them right. Even the bro split will work if you are doing those splits right. Yes, if you're taking steroids, some kind of HGH, whatever it might be, it can help you progress faster and recover better from those workouts. But just know, even if you aren't, you can still build muscle on them. It just might not be the most optimal way to get your end result. With that being said, I like to personally hit muscles at least two times. And for me right now, three times per week, getting in on the major compound lifts at least 15 sets per week if I can in my training. And then I follow that up by adding in isolation-based exercises to round out everything for my workouts. So if you were watching this video on the day I launch it, you could go to gamerbody.com right now and check out the training program, the one I personally use each and every week. And you'll see that it is a resistance-based training Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or days one, three, and five, with two cardio-based sessions or slash carry sessions right now on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This is my best setup. I leave the weekends open as that's where I tend to travel or hang out with friends the most. So I'm away from home where it can pull me away and I won't have all the equipment or what I need to really be able to continue building muscle. So that's why I structured it during my work week, which again is Monday through Friday. I work from 8 a.m. to around 5 p.m. each and every day, Monday through Friday. So it fits best in my schedule because I know I will normally be home to work out with my equipment to continue progressing. Fridays are the only kind of up in the air day because sometimes those become travel days. So I'm also trying to look into making it so that day uses limited equipment in case I'm gone. Maybe I can make it more of a full body style workout with just bands um, and still progress. However, if I have my full range of equipment on Fridays, that's the best because I can really, again, continue to progress and do more than last time to get the results I'm looking for and still adhere to my current training plan. But just note, Fridays are kind of the only up in the air day that can cause problems for me if I'm traveling around that time. It's not too often, but it does come up. So with my current schedule, it breaks down as follows. So I really have three different options I can choose from when deciding to work out with my full body split. I can work out in the morning, which is what I currently do with uh, the actual virus going around. I'm able to get up an hour later, so 6 a.m. instead of 5 a.m. and still get in my hour long workout from my home office, which is where I work also during the day. The other option I do have is I could work out during my lunch period as at my work, I do get an hour lunch. However, my workouts take about an hour, sometimes a little more, depending on how much rest time I'm taking or if I get distracted or something. So this isn't really a good option for me because I might be cut short in my workout because I have to jump back into work. So the final option I have is to work out after work, but I know based on past experience with myself, this would be one that I'd tend to miss because I'm either cooking dinner, maybe I'm hanging out with my wife and watching something like, we watch House right now as our main TV show that we're catching up on. So there are other things that tend to get in the way. It's also a time where I just don't feel like working out anymore. I'm a bit drained from my workday, 
brain's a little fried, don't feel like working out. And that's why I tend to skip those. And that is why I put my training in the morning. Might not be the most optimal time, but being someone that works 40 plus hours a week, I need to figure out where it fits best in my schedule. So again, I can be consistent and full body workouts work very well for getting into my schedule and allowing enough recovery before the next training session to really hit it well and continue progressing. So the main question is why not do another body part split that could help me progress such as the push pull leg split. While I think other splits work very well, especially if you're hitting your muscles at least two times per week as shown in all of the videos and everything I've read, apparently this is like a big scientific thing that at least twice per week is like the optimal and three times is kind of like the most you need to hit them per week. Um, but the reason I don't do other ones is because they don't fit as well into my weekly plan. The next closest would probably be the upper lower split as I could do Monday, Tuesday rest, Thursday, Friday, and then weekend off. So that could work pretty well. However, I don't really want that much rest day between my upper and upper days and lower and lower days. I'd rather have every other day kind of hitting that muscle group again and really giving it my all while just reducing the volume a little bit, but really pushing on the weight and resistance to continue getting stronger. So the main reason I don't do these other splits is because they don't fit as well into my current week of training. This would include something like the push-pull legs, which tends to be more of a six day per week training cycle. Yes, you can make it shorter, but from what I've seen, most people tend to put it into a six day cycle and do something like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then take Sunday off where they do push-pull legs, push-pull legs off. So that wouldn't fit well for me because again, I like to leave my weekends open. That way I can hang out with friends um, and just do general recovery for my weekend days. And it's just a good way to relax and get back into things before hitting my next week of training. The upper lower split is one that may fit pretty well into my current week of training as I could do Monday, Tuesday, rest on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then take the weekend off. But again, I don't like to have that much rest period between my upper and upper days. And I'd rather just reduce the overall volume a little bit for my major lifts and then uh, come back in on Wednesday or Friday and hit them again to continue to provide that muscle building stimulus to get stronger over time. And for bro splits, I really don't think they fit into my plan because hitting one body part per week, I feel like it's just not really what I'm looking to do. And I just don't like that style of training anymore. I really like to kind of freshen things up and hit a new body part each time I'm working out or during my workout, kind of switching things up as I go along. Um, it just makes things fresh, makes it more fun. And again, something I can be more consistent with as I enjoy it more allowing me to get the results better over time. So while the other splits are great, and don't get me wrong, they will all work if done properly, I still like to do the full body because it's something I enjoy and can adhere to. That is the number one driver as to why I chose it, and it fits very well into my life schedule. That is how you could, should kind of look into the split you wanna do. I could always change this, so if things change in the future, like it doesn't fit into my schedule well, I change jobs or whatever, whatever it might be, whatever fits best into my schedule and I can have something I enjoy and still get results, that is what I'm gonna choose. It doesn't even mean I might not change mid-year where I wanna just switch things up because I'm getting bored. That could happen, but for right now, full body fits best into my schedule and it's something that I can adhere to very well. So let's now cover the downsides of the full body workouts. Number one, it's hard to get everything in, especially if you do isolation-based exercises within one hour. Now my plan, I've had to go through multiple times, kind of see what is the best exercise and what really should be fitting into my training to make it within that hour limit. Um, if you're just doing compound lifts, you can probably make this pretty easily, but as soon as you start adding in isolation-based movements and exercises, it really starts to get hard to fit it under an hour. More like an hour and a half is what's gonna be probably the best for you if you're taking proper rest times. But if you shorten those rest times, you can make it under an hour. Just note, it may not be the most optimal plan in the world. Also, you'll find that the pump that you get in normal splits, such as especially bro splits or push-pull legs, doesn't come by as often. You have to really, really work to get that huge pump that you usually get, but you're still gonna get results. Pump, the pump is not what determines you getting results in the end. Yes, it feels really good, you feel strong, and you just have that blood pumping through your veins, but it is not what in the end will determine if you're building muscle or not. That comes down to being able to progressively overload, proper nutrition and recovery with sleep, and, though, and just overall nutrition, and you will still grow over time. You just need to challenge your body each time, 
continue to work harder than the last time and you will see gains as long as all those other factors come into play correctly. So to round things out, I'm gonna continue working with full body splits. I'm not giving it up yet. I think I might do all of 2021 by just doing the same type of working out as it's really gotten me good results. I'm still progressing even now and mixing things up. I do change exercises here and there as you've seen. Um, I've updated my plan quite a bit on gamerboy.com and I give all those updates as I change them so you can see what I'm doing in case you wanna follow along and do my programming. But just know, I am not changing it in the near future, but who knows, things can change. I could change splits, and if they do, I'll update it on the site so you can see it. And that is about it on this video for why I choose to do full body workouts versus the other splits that are out there. If you liked this video and want to see more, please like and subscribe to GamerBody for more videos just like this one. Also, if you haven't, make sure you head over to GamerBody.com. You can check out my current training program. Again, it is a full body workout that I went over in this video. Also, the equipment I own and use to complete those workouts and the information I'm learning from to build muscle and gain confidence from the comfort of home. That's it. Again, like, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.